you know, it's hard to make friends when you're a kid, and it's even harder when you're part of a weird-ass religion that sees normal childhood interactions as nefarious temptations of the devil meant to lead you astray from the path of Christ, which we're going to learn all about in this week's God Awful Mini. So tell us, Heath, what will we be breaking down today? We watched Jehovah's Witness Lesson Number 47, Who Should Be My Friend? It's the, it's the story of how to avoid Satan's plot for world domination, which is mostly based on potato flashlights and baking soda <laughs> volcanoes. <I think>. Yeah. <laughs> Deep in the night and all that. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. So <laughs> that's Satan and his roundabout plots. And Eli, how bad was this mini? <laughs> well, if you loved the overly smooth, uncanny valley of early 2000s Nickelodeon animation, but you wish it was positively bursting with the psychosis of America's most obvious cult, you will love <laughs> this movie. Se se second most obvious after Scientology, but yes. Yeah. So is there anything you guys want to nominate this one for being the best at being the worst at? Yeah, I'm going to go with best worst trying to figure out the bad guy as I'm going through it. Mm -hmm. It's really confusing. So it starts the bad guys like kids who go home in a minivan that get picked up in school. But then it's like, OK, no, it might be the potato flashlight. That might be the mm -hmm. bad guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it the Jews. The Jews are the bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, science. I think science is the bad guys. Ultimately, we land on science. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So I was going to go with best worst Bible character. Ooh. Right? So, so a big part of this is like this fanfic about Martha. Martha. Martha's claim to fame is that people mistake her for Mary Magdalene's sister. <laughs> right? Like Martha, the most noteworthy thing that Martha does in the Bible is warn Jesus that Lazarus probably stinks by now. That's real. Look it up. <laughs> right? That's and, and we spend like half of this video on her story. Martha, Martha, well, Martha. Yeah. <laughs> her made up Jehovah's Witness version. Well, right. Story. Yeah, exactly. Her fanfic story. Yes. Were the weird cult offshoots of Christianity doing like a dib situation <laughs> and fucking Mormonism and baptism came in hard and fucking Jehovah's Witnesses are just checking under chairs and couch cushions. <laughs> I got a Martha. We got Hawkman. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to go with best worst friend. Yeah. Let's all say for now. All right. Best worst friend. Keep in mind, they can animate anybody they want to, really. Of any size. Of yep. any, <laughs> any size. size. Just keep that in mind. All right. So let's get this video going. We're going to open up with Sophia. That's our main character. She's a friendless outcast J-Dub sitting all by herself at recess while all the other kids have fun. Yeah. Right. And I think we're panning over like all the things that Jehovah's Witnesses aren't allowed to do here. Yeah. That the other kids are doing. OK. And, and keep in mind that you could show the kids like drinking and smoking and fighting. Nope. The Jehovah's Witnesses, things that bad children do includes phone games and silly dances. Yep. That's why she should shun people. Playing the sport of basketball is one of them. Yep, yeah, that's one of them. Playing with the devil's pixels. Yeah. Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure. Okay, question. Here's a confusing one for me. One of those things that I guess they can't do is rap as a duck because <laughs> yep, they spend a while showing us a kid rapping, but as a duck, like, <laughs> yes, I don't yeah, yeah, right. know. Why, and she looks on like jealous of this kid. Who's yes. Like, allowed to do that. And then they just move right on. I wanted to explore that kid's life so much more. Right. Yeah. Yes, the story of the duck child is where all the real fucking interest was. But yeah, so basically we watch her looking at all the kids fucking celebrating birthdays while they vote or whatever. And then <laughs> she, she gets on the bus. She's the only one on the bus because apparently, and this takes a while for us to figure out, apparently there's some like after school thing that she's not allowed to go to, but everyone else is going to. Right. I thought they just had like a, a JW bus that she had to ride by <laughs> No blood transfusions on this bus. Don't worry, kid. Get on. Well, yeah, no, I had all the other kids must be going to a cool blood transfusion party <laughs> or something. Yeah. They're just getting into a different... We have birthdays. This is so fun. Name your birthday that you have. Go, <laughs> so, go. So then we got... Fuck you, J-Dub kid. <laughs> Bye. 
So then we cut to our title screen. It says Lesson 47, Who Should Be My Friend? And at the bottom, by the way, it includes Proverbs 13, 20, which reads, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Destroyed? A fool was right. Yeah, a fool is right fucking there. And they went with destroyed. <laughs> so fucking dumb. Okay. So, <laughs> so we, uh, we check back in with Sophia. She's at church listening to a sermon about friends. So that's nifty. Well, it's not a sermon. It's a smooch man or whatever. Oh, the fuck okay, yeah. Right. Joe, it's a, a family house quimmer. Well, yeah. Well, but this is this is in the church, right? This is a, this is a, a a church function of some sort. And she sees that there's another girl. I wrote about her age because we don't see them in comparison to each other yet. Sorry, another girl about her age. Is that what we're going to say? <laughs> well, that's what I wrote. I okay. Mean, <laughs> yeah. Out of nowhere, a 45 year old woman who's like eight feet tall and has a child voice walks up and is like, "I want to be your friend." Those are sweet fucking notes you took during church. I'm your friend. We're the same age. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so so the sermon wraps up and they both were taking notes about the sermon with the same like doodle method. And and picture and, style. Do you have to take notes? I don't know. Do they take notes during church? I don't I have to ask with some of my ex J dub friends if they actually have to take notes during their sermons. I went down this rabbit hole, they do. They take notes and then they have to give a talk. This is what they're referencing. They have to give a talk to the other children about the notes they took in church. That they were all at. It's the worst, oh most least imaginative cult ever. Oh. It's like someone was sitting in normal Christianity and they were like, not enough homework. More <laughs> homework. Yeah, because we learned that this girl, this is so this is Lydia, the 45 year old girl that she's going to befriend. Lydia and Sophia have been assigned to do a talk together and they'll have to work on that at some later scene. I was really hoping we would flash over to like whatever youth group this is. And Lydia is the only full grown adult. She's just been held back in JW chat five times. <laughs> yeah. She's just like Dwight at karate class with a bunch of kids. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, okay. So now we're in class. It's the next day. All the other kids come into the class and they greet their friends and are happy to see each other like a bunch of fucking heathens. Right. Yeah. yeah. And we watch Sophia be like, look at all these other kids interacting like wanton whores. Like, <laughs> yes. I, like, I want to be a wanton whore, but I shan't. And like, that's the conflict <laughs> here? Yeah. Well, because they're all talking about that, that fun science camp thing they did the day before, right? Everybody's got a <gasps> comment about that as they walk by. Okay. Science camp. Science camp was confusing. They didn't say just like, we did science camp. No. Uh, they described something about a safari tree house. Yep. And then some other kid was like, I didn't think your team was going to make it through the safari tree house. What competition of teams. I don't know. Would happen inside a safari tree house. I was thinking about this forever. And they, again, they just move on. Right, yeah, because cause fucking duck wrapping kid was there. Explain stuff. If we'd gotten his story, we would know. Yeah, so, but yeah, but we see everybody talking about how much fun they had there. They're all like, they've all got swag, and all the swag has a picture of an atom on it. I guess that represents science to him. At first, I was like, wait, are, jo are J-dubs against atomic theory? I had to look that up. I don't think that they are, but I don't know. I mean, technically, yes. Well, right? yeah, no, be... that's fair. The water and the wine thing really falls apart. Yeah, those, there. those lines of communication break down early and often. Yeah. But apparently the thing that she missed out on was a science club because her religion is anti-science compared to other Christian denominations and she couldn't go. Right. And let's be clear here, right? It would have been so easy for them to be like the science club where we learn about evolution. Yeah, I can't believe how we killed God in that big pinata, right? Something right. like that. No, 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 no. This is any science. The J-dubs are just drawing the right. line at the word science. Yeah, this is potato flashlights, how the devil gets <laughs> you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so we see her like wishing that she could be part of this. She goes to lunch and all the other kids are like, oh, you're good at science. We wish you would join our science team and help us with our potato flashlight. Right? Yep. Okay, that's the plot now. Yes. That, like, she's getting tempted by 
Satan and his light bulb wiring. Yes. Is, is that, are they like anti-circuit? <laughs> They're anti-nucleus. <laughs> right. Maybe circuits too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't I don't know if it was the nucleus or the electrons that they were pissed about. It could have been both. But. It's tough to tell, yeah. So, so yeah, so so but she helps him with their science project because she's good at science. And then we cut to her back at home asking her dad if she can be in science club. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, yeah, so it just seems objectively positive for me to join the science club and make friends. What do you think, Dad? And Dad's like, it's not though. No. Right. Well, except Don't. dad is actually more like, it's not though. Right. He's got this really thick Eastern European accent of so I don't I have no idea where this guy's from, but yeah. It's jarring. It's um, it's weird that I can tell that cartoon character hits his wife and kids, right? <laughs> oh, Jesus like the, the way that cartoon character holds anger in his body, I know his family's unsafe. Yeah, it's not from the accent. Eli's not saying that Slavic <laughs> people abuse their wives. He's just saying No, that. that's <laughs> also true, and it's okay because they're white. But I'm talking <laughs> oh, about Jesus Christ. I'm talking about this cartoon right here. I like if he comes up to me, I'm like, you should leave your kids alone. I just I feel his rage <laughs> as his daughter asks to go to science camp and I fear for them. Yeah, this guy beats up Eli at a supermarket for sure. Yeah, no, 100 percent sure. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, but she, she's like, oh, you know, it'd be great if I could be in science club and I could have friends. And the dad, though, his reaction to this is to be like, yes, but unfortunately, I picked a friendless religion for you. So you can't have friends. Right. Is is the ethical thing that happened, according to this video? Yeah. No, he, he he has this weird moment. And hey, if you have to caveat, leave your religion. Right. He's like, yes, no, God, God wants us to have friends. But I'm going to stop you right there. I'm going to stop you right. right there. Yeah. Because the implication of what he says is, but not those children. God hates those children. Exactly. <laughs> but not science whores is the rest of that <laughs> sentence. Yes. Yeah. Right. So, so, and, and, and she's like, huh, that doesn't really make sense. And he's like, well, how about we do a Bible lesson? Why don't you go read up on that well known biblical character of Martha? Okay. Again, Martha watched Jesus resurrect her brother Lazarus. That's it. How is that helpful? No, it's not at all. No, it really isn't. And we spend the rest of the video on this. <laughs> Martha's sitting there in her agent's office. I was hoping maybe you could get me into the background of like the Godfather 3 or something. No. <laughs> yeah. um, we we do have an do offer from you. the Jehovah's Witnesses, though. They said they found you some couch cushions. <laughs> so, How'd you like to be proof not to have any friends? <laughs> right, yeah. So, yeah, so, but Sophia studies up and then she's going to tell us and the family the biblical, the extra biblical story of Martha, and we're going to get some animation to go along with that, right? And it's just a tiny moment, but at the very beginning where they're introducing her, she says, Martha liked to cook. And it's so obvious the movie trying to be like, see, kid stuff. We didn't go directly into our deeply nefarious and torturous philosophy. We said, like to cook first. Cartoon. Well, they yeah that that part is kid friendly, but even before that, they're like Martha is a Jewess. Yeah, uh -huh. and Martha they do like, introduce her as a Jewess. Really hard to spin that. If you're not Jewish, don't say <laughs> Jewess like that. God. <laughs> so yeah, so so Martha is the sister of Lazarus. She's also got another sister named Mary. No, not that Mary or. That Mary, actually. The fourth most popular Mary of, the, of all everybody. <laughs> is, is Martha's sister. Her sister is in our movie. That's who we got. That's who we found under the couch. Yeah. But Martha, she liked to cook and clean for Jesus and his disciples because she's a woman. But some of her friends thought that Jesus was stupid. So we cut to one of her friends thinking Jesus is stupid. This is Talia, right? She's going to represent those kids with their damn potato flashlight. Yeah, and I don't know how they captured this, but they somehow managed to give Martha in this cartoon that flattened, defeated voice that all cult members have, right? Where you're like, <laughs> hey, uh, you're standing in front of the thing, and they're like, I would like to tell you about Jesus. And you're like, nah, just take a pill. I gotta, I'm going to the... Yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. like halfway to crying in every sentence. <laughs> every <laughs> sentence. I could just... Do you want to come with me forever and leave it all behind? <laughs> right. But Talia is trying to lead. Talia is her friend, supposedly, but she's trying to lead her away from Jesus. 
is what we're watching here. Yeah. So that night we get Jesus showing up in town with his entourage. Jesus has short hair in this because J-Dub Jesus ain't no fucking hippie. Okay. <laughs> I'm so this is contextual. I'm sorry. But if you watch this whole lesson instead of just the, the animation, Jesus has the exact same haircut as the guy giving this lesson in the J-Dub video. So he very clearly was like, no, no, I think he would have a... A side part, you know, just like, uh, <laughs> well, base it on whoever you want. Like, it's real. Watch the whole thing. You'll see the guy's side part. It's super funny. Amazing. It's like the low budget movie that had to have the same guy be multiple parts, but it's a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So Jesus shows up and <laughs> I enjoy this part. Martha's like, oh, Jesus is here. They brought five unannounced friends to hang out. Cool. Cool. cool, cool. This is awesome. Yep. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we watch her waiting on everyone hand and foot. And of course, this is the one part of the Bible where she actually shows up, right? Like uh, her sister is just listening to Jesus speak while she does all the work. And Jesus is like, why don't you also just listen to me speak and, and stop doing that? And she's like, oh, OK. And that's her whole story. And now he's going to give a really long speech. I love this. I right. love what's happening. <laughs> this is great. So anyway, so next day by the well, Talia is telling them that Christianity is way too progressive on the issue of women's rights for her. You, she, she, the, the women sitting in and listening in on the lesson like the men. <laughs> it's it's weird because their villain is is advocating current JW policy. Honestly, yeah. So much so that when I was trying to decide which JW we would do, it was between this cartoon and a different one about how women shouldn't speak up so much during family prayer. So it's a weird thing to have your <laughs> villain say in your movie. Right, so this this friend Talia is like, hold on, he did word teaching to ladies? Get the yes. fuck out of it. Women are supposed to make food, and that's it. And then some guy out of nowhere... He just pops into the screen and he's like, that's exactly true. Women are servants. Yes, they are. Bye. And then, yeah, that's the end of that point. I have lunch with Carl the Bucket Bucket Corn every week. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So so then uh, on her way home, Martha sees Lazarus all passed out sick in the road. So, you know, we, we cut to him on his on his deathbed. Talia has brought food for him, and then Talia and Martha have to have another argument about whether Jesus is the risen Christ or whatever. Yeah, right? Jesus is a good friend. Je good friends raise each other from the dead, damn it. <laughs> so right, but Talia's like, no, we all hate that fucking guy. Jesus is the terrible boyfriend that everybody warns you about. Yeah. And Christian people are like, yeah, but when Dogecoin blows up, I'm just saying... <laughs> No, you guys got to come see Jesus and his band. He's really yeah. loud. Right. But of course, Lazarus dies before Jesus can get back to to help him. And I, just we, we cut back to the little girl telling us this story. She shows us her, her crayon drawing of Jesus raising Lazarus. They've got Lazarus as a little mummy in the picture because I guess either you can lean into how stupid your story is or you can lie about what it says. <laughs> it's one or the other. Right, yeah, so dad's talking to the family here, and he's like, okay, so Lazarus died, and then what happened? And I wanted Sophia, the kid, to be like, Martha joined the fucking science club? I don't know, how is this helpful? What the fuck are you talking about? But yeah, and then and then we the, the moms explains, but even though Jesus brought Lazarus back to life, a lot of the other Jews weren't convinced that he was the Messiah. And I'm like, yeah, it helps if you don't say that part out loud because that's where your story really falls apart. Though, it? It kind of falls also, apart right I love that they can't help but do their stupid the Christ thing. This mm -hmm. is just again one of the sad Mormonism took all the good shit. J JWs are like his name's not Jesus Christ. His name is Jesus the Christ. Yeah, because uh, the idiots who started Je Jehovah's Witnessism were like, they don't say what his last name is. It's probably not Christ. We should clarify <laughs> that and talk like bad Chet GPT generators when we talk about our Lord and say they think they're going to get to heaven and he's going to be like, hey, guys. Thanks, because everyone else was having a really hard time finding me in the phone book. They were looking under C for Christ. <laughs> no, I'm not Jesus the Christ Christ. I, I can see the confusion. No, just that. Also, in Jehovah's Witnessism, is Jehovah the name of God? Is that what they're using it for? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. 
when they say it, why does it sound crazy every time? Like every J-Dub, it doesn't matter what part of the world they're from. Every J-Dub is from Minnesota the moment they say Jehovah. Right? Yeah. Why is that? Yeah, it's I I guarantee you it's somewhere at a secret meeting that we haven't deserved yet. Is the like, all right, everyone, get together, gather up. Hova, just to really bother everyone else. <laughs> everyone else. We're doing the Stewie Griffin WH sound, but for our Lord and Savior. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but but mom explains that people like Talia might seem like your friends, but they actually hate Jesus and would turn him in for the reward money in a fucking heartbeat. Well, I, and look, I would get that. I would understand that, right? Talia turning over Christ. But no, Talia's just like, I don't know. And she's like, hey. Hey, be my religion or we can't be friends. And Talia's like, ah, I'm getting the fuck out of here. You seem like a nutbag, Martha. Well, right. Yeah, that ends up being the moral of the story. How do you know if somebody should be your friend? If they share your mom and dad's religion. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what the whole fucking vi video is. That's what I, so the, the flashback to the Bible is over. And dad's like, so what did we learn about friendship? And the correct answer from Sophia would be like, no Jews. <laughs> and, he's like, and he'd be like, yep, correct. That is it. He, his exact words are, that's my girl. Yeah. Jesus, that's fucking dark. So, yeah, so she goes upstairs to finish her homework. That is her Bible reading homework, apparently. And while she's up there, she prays that Jehovah will send her a friend. <laughs> okay, this, this is the best. Her little turtle looks over and he's like, what am I fucking chopped liver over here? I might not, <laughs> I not count. Well, no, the, the turtle doesn't believe in Jesus either. It's so good. She's praying to God, like, let me get a f one friend. I'm a child. And nothing happens because, you know, God's not there. And she has to look over this sad kid and be like, Turtle, is this? Does this count? Is this? I, I'm friends <laughs> with a. I wanted the turtle then to like put on a yarmulke and pull out a birthday cake. <laughs> Shakes his head Do at her. Do a blood <laughs> transfusion somehow. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, yeah. But no, the turtle doesn't count. But just then, Lydia, the 45 year old from church, shows up to help work on her talk. And wouldn't you know it? Lydia's wearing turtle earrings. Turns out she's a turtle fan too. Okay, I have to talk about how this was shot because I was so deeply confused by the eroticism. Huh. So Noah is right. She is wearing turtle earrings. But the way the movie shows that to you is she does a slow motion hair toss. And I was like, this little girl wants to fuck this grown up who came over to her house. I didn't see the turtle earrings. So I just thought, I thought they were doing like a one. <laughs> Yep, and, and then the whole thing ends with Lydia going, you know what, Sophia, I think we're going to be friends. So hooray, Sophia's prayers are answered. I'm seven feet tall and 45, <laughs> the end. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right. All right. Well, whether they intended it to be or not, the moral of this story is very clearly don't be a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> and I guess with that important reminder, we'll wrap up this installment of God Awful Minis.